Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this text effect in Illustrator. Super easy to do, and it's just a one click effect basically. So first thing I'm going to do is start off with some text. Uh, I'm using Bebas Neo as a font right now, or Bebas Noya, sorry, gotta get the pronunciation right. Um, I've just tied in the tracking a lot, and I've typed out my text, we're going to be using it as a template for outlining. So I'm going to add a new layer, I'm going to start outlining over it using a drawing tablet. I'm using the I think it's called the one by Wacko. It's really cheap. I think it's the cheapest tablet they have, but uh, it's really worth it in my opinion. I definitely recommend getting it. Okay, so now when you're done outlining your text in a more rounded kind of bubbly font, you can fill it in if you like with a white color or something. And then we're gonna bring it to Illustrator. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna make this image layer into a template. Click okay. And now I'm gonna trace over it using the brush tool. You can also use the curve tool if you want, but I really like the super smooth rounded lines that the brush tool gives. So I'm just gonna find a brush here. I usually use uh, calligraphic brushes, they're really good. Any of these will work. And I'm gonna start outlining. I'm gonna make it a time lapse as well so you can see the see the process a little bit. And when you're done outlining, select all of these letters and assign some random color to them. It's super essential. And to get rid of these shapes, I'm going to use the minus front option. You can find that in the Pathfinder panel. Assigning a color is really important because uh, the effect won't work if you don't have color. Now I'm just going to work on the layout a little bit. I can pull in some rulers if I want. Press Ctrl R on your keyboard, by the way, to get up the rulers. Drag them out, make sure everything is centered. I like to have like a big block in the center basically. I'm happy enough with that. Now I'm just gonna add a background, like a yellow rectangle or something like that. You can choose whatever color you want. I just think yellow, black, white is a really classic color scheme. So now for the effect, go to 3D and materials, uh, 3D classic and extrude and bevel classic. Now make sure to turn off preview because this will absolutely wreck your CPU. I don't think Illustrator does very well with uh, 3D effects. Uh, you can just copy my settings here. The perspective is the most important thing. That's what makes it lean back. So now the effect is applied. We can expand appearance. You can do that again. Click expand and OK. So now that makes it so we can uh, select each of the letters individually. Now I'm going to select all the bottom rows and the top row and just fill in any color you want. You can choose a different color for the top one if you like, but I'm just gonna go with white. White, black, and yellow, it's a classic color scheme. You really can't go wrong. And we're done, super easy to do. Only took five minutes, uh, depending on how fast you can draw, I guess. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and if you don't subscribe, um, I'll break the law.